Hello and back again to the third part of my tutorial about using the Open Sound Control protocol OC in short. And today I want to show the Open Stage Control client, uh, especially how you use its editor to create your own sessions templates or whatever the concept is called in Open Stage Control client. I already started it up here and and you have also the option here to say new. So we create a new one and the page is completely blank. And you can edit any of these templates you load in. To do that, you just click these three bars here in the upper right. And then this editor part appears. Um, also, there is a button to run the application full screen, which I forgot to say in the previous tutorial. Below that, there are also several functions. So the important ones for the editor are here. So currently the editor is on and you can always switch it to off if you want to see how it looks without these helper lines. There is also the root. So the root is the background we have here and this can also be used to have some settings. For example, we could change the color here. Let's do red and you see then here the text parts become red. And here you can load another template, but you can always only load one. So you can only have one open at a time or you can save your current work. Let's create something very simple. So you see you have uh, different edit fields for each different uh, widgets. So widgets, what I call here a widget is the elements you can use in that uh, template you want to build. And there are a lot of options already if you start that. If you look in all those submenus, so you have sliders, buttons, pads, matrices of multiple sliders and pads. Also, you can have plotting stuff, equalizers, visualizers for anything, just an LED or a image and these things. You can also wrap these things in containers to easily organize them, also do their sizing and things. You have switches, inputs, so you can also enter text and this one is no longer used as I heard. And you can also add a tab which adds here another tab on the top so you can switch between multiple big sides of this area. So let's do something very simple. Let's just maybe show a text. So we have here, where is it? In the plots, we have a text. Just let's put a text here. One thing to note is which is not that easy to spell but uh, if you want to move an object, you can have it, ha if it has a header, you can use it like this. But if you turn off the header, which is also done in a funny way, there is a label and this label is the header. And you see you have some auto things. And if it's auto, it's automatic. And for the header, it just takes the ID of this widget and if I click here and you can say then false which is not that intuitive you have that header removed so we just have the text also what I mentioned here is the ID so every widget you have here in your session template or whatever it's called should be unique so you can also address that for example if I have a value in there I can also use that value and insert it for display in another widget um, this is done. Yeah, that's maybe interesting to show. So maybe if we make a copy of that one, you can also have a right click and say, I want to make a copy and then I want to paste it. And this is also interesting to note. I talked about these IDs we have. If you click that one, it creates a copy of that, but increases that ID. So normally a one is added or something like that. And if you say clone, it's really the same one. So you need to take care yourself about giving it a new idea. So normally it's a good choice to use that one. And as you see, it already increased that to the idea text too. Here you see now I cannot drag that anymore. So the trick is you need to move over the upper part to move that. That's something you should know. Okay, and here you can change the size and here you can change the size as well. But you can also enter that 
here directly in these fields. And most of these things is based on CSS, which is uh, standard for doing layouts and styles in the internet. So if you go on any page in the internet, it definitely uses CSS to do its text sizing, its positioning, all these things. It's very difficult to use that software if you have no idea about it. So at least you should get a very basic understanding of how you can do things. And here you see also there is a CSS CSS field where you can enter additional CSS commands to do different things. For example, you could change the font size to 200%. And if I go that, you see we have now a much bigger text than that one double as big. What I wanted to show is that we want to have that value in that one and we have this idea text one. So what you can do, there is this the value part and to refer to such an idea, you have this funny writing, you have this at sign and we have those curly braces and in the curly braces you just write the name of that other variable. And as you see, when I leave the field, it changes to text one. So this will now also just monitor the content of this value. So let's put something meaningful into that value. In the lower part, you see here OC. So these are the actual OC commands and receive fields. If you have a widget which has some interaction, like pressing a button, you will need to have the same address for reception and for sending if you want to change its state from outside of uh, that client. So if you want to address Bitwig, let's say, for example, we want to show here for track one, we want to show the volume strings. Let's check out if that works. Let's go to Bitwig. And if I change the volume, oh yeah, it's working. You see, you see that volume text now in that field. So very nice. And also you see that copy over here. What's also worth mentioning is, as I said, uh, it uses that CSS styling guide. And in its default style, it puts everything in uppercase. Uh, that's maybe something you like, maybe you're not. So you would need to do your own basic layout um, or at, at least change that. So it appears in a different way without the uppercase. Okay, so this was now just receiving. Let's try the opposite. So let's create a button. So we have different options. We have toggle buttons, push or switches. Let's go with a simple push button. Oh no, let's maybe let's go with a toggle button. But you can always change it later. So with every widget, you have still the option to to pick another one from here and it tries to keep all the settings you have so far for that other widget. So I can easily change the push one to a toggle one without a problem. And let's say, okay, I want to have here this being a play button. And let's have here the address and just say play. And that's something worth mentioning. The precision is if you add numbers to that one, which is normally the case, if you have sliders or not, it's sent in floating point. And if you don't, and that's the precision of the floating point, which is two digits after the dot. And if you want to have integers, you set that to zero. So this sends now just zero and one. And let's give that a try. So if we click here, oh, you see it's playing. It starts to playing. We cannot stop that. So next step would be also to do a stop button and so on. Uh, what's also worth mentioning, if you just want not only have text here, there is also have the option to have an image on that button. And to do so, you need to pick an image which is from taken from Font Awesome because that comes included in that package. And if you are a web designer, you are very familiar with that. If you have never heard about that, it's very easy. You go to that web page, it's fontawesome.com. And there they have a search site. You see here a free part because these are the free icons coming with it. And you can search now for, for uh, icons and you see 946 uh, free icons are available and these are the ones included in open stage control and you can search for example if we now want to have a play you don't ah there is a play button so you can say okay i want to have this play or the play circle whichever one you prefer let's take the simple one it's just called play so you need to use that name 
and this is, will be displayed. So how to do that? Going back to the editor, you need to go to the label and then not simply write play, but you need to put that funny, I don't know the English word, so this upper, whatever it is, a thingy before that, and then this image will appear. You can also do that trick here with the font size. So if you want to have that image bigger, you can increase here the font size as well. Let's put it to 200% and the knob gets bigger. Okay, so these are the usual things you might also know from other OC clients, but uh, this one has also some very interesting functions. For example, you can have a clone container, which is really nice. I explained you have these ideas uh, for these uh, widgets, and if you reference here now that widget, you get an exact copy of that. For example, let's take the text one and put it here. And you see also now this is the same object as above. You might ask, what's the point? Uh, the point is you cannot only put simple objects here as a reference, but you also can use containers. So for example, if you created a very complex channel strip and would now have eight of these, you don't have to rebuild all those widgets in one channel strip for eight times. You can just use that clone function. And what you need to do to make that work is um, you have these, if you go to the clone container, uh, you have these properties. So you can say give in variables number one, two, three, four to overwrite here. So it just uses then this variable to address a different OC function, for example. This would take now much too long for explanation, but you can look in the example for the Artur template or also the template I created for Bitwig if you want to find out how that works. Also, these sources are very good inspirations if you want to see how it's done. I think for the Bitwig template, I used all the features you can do so far in uh, that application. Have a look there and get inspired and create some nice stuff. And uh, if you have something cool, it would be great if you would share it with the community. So enjoy and if you're ready, make some funky music. <laughs>